Hi there Great Valves and in today's video we are going to be doing calculations with aggregate functions. So things like you know average, sum, etc. Things like that. So here you can see we've got a table called entries. There's all our data and they want us to create a query on that because obviously our um, formulas or our calculations are going to be going into the query. So we're going to go to design view and this is where we're going to do everything that we need to so i'm going to be going through a few things so it, they say to us here they want us to create a query based on the entries table um, we've got school and we've got price and that's fine then they want us to right click on well to go into design view which we've done and now we're going to go over to this side which is show hide we've got a property sheet parameters and totals I want you to have a look at this. We've got a few rows here. We've got field, table, sort, show, and criteria. However, when I click on totals, you can see a new row pops up called total, and it says group by. So let's just go run. We'll see, okay, we've still got the school. We've still got the price. That's all fine. When I go back into design view, and I say I want to group price, I'm going to say, well, I want to group that by uh, sum see what it does if I click on run you can see what it's done now it's taken all the schools that are named Astra and it's added those together because it's a sum Barberton same story okay uh, let's go and let's change it from sum let's go to average and we click run again and you can see it's doing exactly the same thing but just with a different formula so if I go back here and I actually take this out, click on run, you can see there are X number of schools that are named Astra, um, X number of schools that are named Barberton, etc. But when I use uh, any of these aggregated formulas, whether it's count, whether it's max, uh, it'll group all of those together and then give me the figure over here. So remember now it's design view and we click on totals. And then we can choose what we want. And it's as simple as that. 